There's only one thing better than winning, and that's watching someone else lose. <laughs> that shark lawyer scurried out of here like a cockroach with the lights on. So you're feeling better? Yes, much, thank you. D did, did my psychic help at all? It was a nice try, Todd, but uh, no, she was way off base. She kept babbling on about my past life as a Napoleonic milkmaid, or, you know, frankly, I think her whole act was a crock. Well, 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 well it's, it, I mean, excuse me, Natalia, but, but if, you, if you approach it with that kind of attitude, all this is gonna happen. Mm. <laughs> okay, relax, relax. All I need to do now is remove all of the negative energies from my life. D does, that, does, that, does that include um, Francisco? Already taken care of. He and Ivan both. R really? Well, what, what, what about Dimitri? Uh, he doesn't scare me. His private eye buddy, Jeff, scurried back to L.A. with his tail between his legs. I am in the clear. Well, almost. Well, well who, who, who else do you, do you have to worry about? Never mind. He is old and sick and he'll be dead in a month. Goodbye, Todd. Now. So, guess you heard I kicked that babysitter and her ridiculous lawsuit to the curb. Francisco's gone. Yeah? So? So, no one knows how to get in touch with him. I'll say it again, slower. So? I'm worried about him. Now, why would you be so interested in Francisco? Because I just... <laughs> Look, you might as well know. Francisco is no longer relevant. I fired him. Myrna? You in here? I don't want Natalia to know I'm still here. Okay, uh, can I ask you a few questions about Boris? For the book? Right. Well, I'm not really one for gossip. Oh, I'm, I'm not looking for any personal dirt. This is about spider games. I'm not sure I'm really up to it. Oh, of course. Yeah, I heard about what Natalia tried to do to you. Uh, excuse my language, but she is a real bitch. She is the C word. What do you want to know? By any chance, do you remember when Boris bought William Whitmore's company? Of course. It was one of Mr. Carlyle's smartest acquisitions ever. Exactly. My research shows that Whitmore sold his company to Boris for less than half the market value. Any idea why? Come on, Jeff. Boris was my boss. I'm loyal to him. He's dead now, Myrna. He won't care. Fine. The truth is, Whitmore had to sell. Mr. Carlyle forced him. Forced him? Why? It was payback. Hi. You know how on every soap, when someone new comes to town, they're really somebody else, like a long-lost lover or a dead oh, twin who's had plastic surgery. Why do I get the feeling this is about Taylor? Make that Taylor and Lyle. I knew it. Taylor had her face done? Is she a terrorist? Did she fake her own death? <sighs> okay, now my news sounds lame. Uh, you know, Taylor's dad, he wasn't a suburban dentist. He did prison time, just like Lyle. That's pretty good, actually. She has been lying to us all along. She made up a whole new identity for herself. And I bought into every one of her lies. I knew she was natural born trash from the moment I found out she was sleeping with Sasha. Speaking of Sasha, aren't you supposed to be at that TV studio with him? Sasha bailed on the whole video shoot. Why? They made him perform a song called, You Bitch Slapped My Heart. Oh, that would explain it. And he stormed out of there so upset. And I can't reach him on his cell phone. What if something terrible's happened? Tell me the truth, Taylor. Are you after me for my money? Of course not. How could you think that? Just a hunch. I don't know, maybe because you secretly dated my 16-year-old brother that made him fall in love with you. I never meant to, please. You have to believe me. I don't have to believe anything. Up with the damn phone! Hello? Yes, this is Dimitri Carlisle. Oh my god. 
I'll be right there. Is something wrong? It was a paramedic. Sasha's... Sasha's been in an accident and they're rushing him to the hospital. Uh, I I'm coming with you. Payback, huh? For what? It was personal and I really shouldn't have said anything. You know, according to my research, Whitmore sold the company to Boris just around the same time Mrs. Carlyle left the family. It was a terrible time for Mr. Carlyle. Why did his wife leave? You must have heard something. I thought this was supposed to be about business. Surely you can see how a book like mine needs a few juicy details. Like Natalia trying to choke me to death? Consider it in. There were problems in the Carlyle marriage. William Whitmore problems? Why don't you ask him? I tried, but Natalia sworn Whitmore to secrecy. Natalia? Yes. It seems that Natalia and Boris went to see Whitmore very late the night Boris died. Something about an old secret. Did Natalia tell you this? And set herself up as a prime suspect for Boris's murder? No way. Murder? Dimitri's convinced that Natalia killed their father. Good Lord. But the police ruled it a car accident. The police were wrong. That's why Dimitri brought me here, to help him prove it. So you're not an author? Private detective. Well, in that case, let me tell you this. Boris Carlyle would not be the first person that Natalia has tried to kill. You fired Francisco? Dumped him, fired him, kicked his sorry ass out of my life. You had no right to do that. Since when do I answer to you? I own the same percentage of this company as you do. Yes, but Boris made me CEO. I don't trust Francisco. I don't want him around here. Whether you're having sex with him or not, Francisco is a family friend. Ah, uh, don't be such a drama queen. People come, people go. Get over it. Who the hell do you Dimitri think you just are? called. Sasha's been in a motorcycle accident. What? He's in the hospital. I'm sure Sasha will be all right once he's blown off some steam. Well, what about you and Dimitri? You've got to tell him about what you found out about Taylor and Sasha. Actually, I found out a lot more. Cherish, you were right. The night of the rave, Taylor set the whole thing up. She took Dimitri to that motel. She signed for the room. She planned the whole thing. Are you sure? Positive. She stole my wig from the rave so that Dimitri would think that she was me. Sluts! Wait. It gets worse. What, what, what was he in for? Robbery. Assault with a deadly weapon. Drugs. Drugs? What, what kind of drugs? GHB, ketamine, ecstasy. Party drugs. And Dimitri always said someone slipped something in his drink at the rave. I'm sure Lyle still has easy access to plenty of brain-frying substances. Oh my god. It's like, as the trailer park turns. Okay, where, where is he? Where's Sasha? They're working on him. He's in the ER. Is he gonna be okay? He had a bad accident on his motorcycle and he wasn't wearing a helmet. Oh my god. Okay, I want to see him. Well, we can't. We're waiting for the doctor. How the hell did this happen? It was an accident. What, what are you doing here? Taylor was with me when we got the news. Excuse me, I'm Dr. Morton. Are you Sasha's family? Yeah, yeah, I'm his sister. How has he? Well, I wish I had better news for you. Your brother suffered a severe head trauma, also some uh, massive internal injuries. He's lost quite a bit of blood. Is he going to make it? Well, it's hard to say. Uh, once he's stabilized, we're going to run a CAT scan, check the damage. Brain damage. We're doing everything we can. Okay, um, I, I, I have to see him. Uh, he's still unconscious. I don't care. I'm going. It should have been her. You're telling me Natalia tried to kill someone else? And I'm not talking about me. Well, who do you mean? Dimitri. When she was four years old, she tried to suffocate him with a musical baby pillow. And she would have succeeded if Mr. Carlyle hadn't walked in. Is that why he sent her away to boarding school? Oh, that was much later. And it wasn't a boarding school. It was a funny farm. You mean a mental institution? 
Well, that's where you go when you're 13 and you try to burn down your school. You don't happen to remember the name of the hospital. Oh, sure. It was a top-of-the-line place for really fancy fruitcakes. Parkland Sanitarium. You don't know how helpful you've been. Well, you can help us all by putting Natalia away for good. I'm not going to leave you. You are the only one in this family that I care about. I'm not going to lose you. Come on, Sasha, pick up. Yo, it's Sasha. Leave me a message later. Hey, Sasha, it's me again. Um, please call me when you get this message. Hope everything's okay. Hey, glad to see you're up. Couldn't sleep. I'm worried about Sasha. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're doing everything they can for him. Dad, what are you talking about? Oh, God. You don't know. Now what? Sasha was in a motorcycle accident. He's he's in the hospital right now. Oh in critical condition. I know. When did this happen? Last night. Apparently, he was speeding on his bike and he wasn't wearing a helmet. And he was wearing a helmet when he left the studio. I'm positive. I mean, maybe he stopped off somewhere first. He was so upset about the video. Dad, you gotta take me to the hospital now. I, I really don't think that's a good idea. Dad, I've gotta see him. Honey, he's unconscious, and they're only allowing family in, and I'm sorry, I know he's a good friend. No, Dad, he's not just a friend. I love him. Dimitri's at the hospital? Why, did something happen? Sasha had an accident, motorcycle. Oh, that's terrible. I knew something bad would happen. Sasha was so upset about this girl, this Dmitri. Girl? Did she have long brown hair, big mm -hmm. eyes, pretty? Mm -hmm. oh. Very bad girl. Don't worry. You won't see her again. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. <sighs> Poor Natalia. She must be exhausted. She's been in there all night. You think she was almost human? You don't have to stay here, you know. I'm not leaving. But look, I'll go get us some food. He's gonna be okay. Hey, I just heard, uh, how's he doing? Hey, he's still unconscious. I'm sorry, man. Hey. I just wanted you guys to know I'm following up on a lead I got from Myrna last night about William Wim